Hello everyone, Raza here. We now have a new forms experience in Microsoft Lists for Microsoft 365. List forms can be quickly created and shared via a link with anyone in your organization. The recipients focus on filling out the form details without seeing your full list. Once they submit their responses, they will immediately appear in your list experience. So let's check it out in action. To get started with Microsoft Lists in office.com, I'll go to the app launcher and select Microsoft Lists. I can click on new list and select from a wide variety of list templates provided by Microsoft, or I can pick any list templates that are shared from my organization. My scenario is I would like to gather information about users who would like to sign up for training programs within my organization. I'll start off with a blank list, Contoso training sign up list, give it a description. I can choose an icon, give it a color, and I can save this either to my lists or to any of my SharePoint sites. I'll save it to my lists and click create. In the Microsoft list experience, we have the ability to create columns of various types. I'll go ahead and create a column of type date and time. I'll call it training date and save. I'll add a column of type multi lines of text called comments and save. If I try to add a new item in this list, it opens the standard list form experience. And to customize this, we have various options. We have the ability to edit the columns. We can reorder columns, show and hide columns by writing conditional formulas. We also have the ability to configure the layout, wherein we can format the header of the form, the footer of the form, as well as the body by using JSON formatting. We also have the ability to customize our forms by leveraging Power Apps. Now we have an additional option called Forms. I'll select Forms and I'll click on New Form. I can give my form a title. I can also give a description for my form. And these are the current columns of my form. I can reorder these by drag and drop. I can also hide columns by simply unselecting them. I can select a specific column like training date. I can change the name of the column here in the form, preferred training date. Can also give a description. I have the option to make it a required field. And that's gone ahead and made the updates for the specific form. My column comments. I'll change the title, add a description. I also have the ability to add new fields. These will land up as actual columns in my list. And these are the list of columns supported by forms. I'll add a column of type person. I'll call it participant, provide a description. Now I'll make this a required field. I will reorder participant to sit right at the top. Next, I'll add another field of type choice, training program, description. I'll go and plug in all my choices. I will make this a required field and I will position this right here. So this has gone ahead and saved all my changes. I can go ahead and preview the form experience. When I'll share the link to my recipients, this is the form experience that will light up for them. It will give out the name of the current user filling the form and will let them know that the owner of the form will be able to see your name and email address. And these are all the different columns that I added as part of my form experience. We also have an option for themes. So there are different theme styles that you can choose. 
You can also go to create your own style. And under settings, accept responses. The form is open to accepting responses. Confirmation message. Once the recipient submits the form, what's the message you would like to show to the recipient? I'll go ahead and change the confirmation message. Now to send this form, all I have to do is click on send form. People in my organization with the link can respond. I click copy link, which I can share with users in my organization. Any user in my org will be able to respond to this. I can share it in an email or Teams or more. Now, Sarah can launch the form experience. Participant, Sarah is signing up for herself. She sets her preferred date of training, picks the training program, and submits her response. Back to my list, signed in as Reza. I can see that Sarah has made a submission for a specific training program. Sarah has no access on the list. Sarah cannot see all the items in the list. Launching the form as another user, James. James submits his response and the list gets updated. Now a user can submit multiple responses. So James can submit another response can go back to forms. So this is my form that I created, which is currently open, meaning open to responses. If at any moment you want to turn it off, you can say stop accepting responses. And when a user tries to access the link, it states we are not accepting responses at the moment. This message as well, we can customize right here under form settings. And if you start accepting responses, that same link that was shared becomes active. You can also create multiple forms for the same list. Let's say I'll go ahead and duplicate this form. So here's another variation of the form. In this form, I do not want to show additional comments. I'll add a yes, no column. Have you taken this training before? I'll click send form and copy the link to my newly created form. Sarah tries to launch the URL to the new form. And all the information will be saved in the same list. The form is going to respect your column settings. I would like a particular participant to only sign up for a single program. So participant needs to be unique. And all I have to do here is go to the column settings and enforce unique values. Now, if a user tries to make a submission for a participant that already exists, you can see that the list rule enforcement comes into play. Here, I have a modern SharePoint list where I would like to store Idea submissions, any user in my organization can submit an idea, but I do not want to give them access to this list so they can see submissions that other users have made. Well, I can use forms. Approval decision is a column that I would like to maintain internal to my form, and I do not want to expose that to the recipients filling out this form. My form's ready. I'll get the link that I can share within my organization and users can leverage that link to start submitting ideas. Sarah submits her idea, click submit and all that information gets logged in my list. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.